YouTube, this is Kennedy Messy Soaper coming today with another soap. And this soap <clears throat> is really cute. I'm just like very excited to make this. I am, um, I've had plans to make this soap for quite some time, but I just kept putting it off because as you guys know, I don't like making in beds. <laughs> and these took a little while to make, but actually <laughs> I made the first few and then Hunter dropped one and broke it. And then I remade them and then my mom came over and dropped two and broke them. So <laughs> I had to remake those, but it was okay. So I finally did that. And uh, this is before I start doing reviews for Rustic Essentials. Oops. And um, she actually sent me a fragrance. Um, it was, it's coconut lime. I already had one, but she sent me one. And this is so cute because the name of it is called The Lime in the Coconut. <laughs> <laughs> so it's like super fitting and I'm just like really really happy to make this so it's just like perfect for my embeds and my soap I already have my lye mixed in just because I didn't want to bore you guys with that I mean hell you've seen it 10,000 times if not with me with someone else I'm sure so <laughs> uh, in here my colors are let's see uh, rustic essentials as well so I'm going to use Enchanted Forest Mica, which is this green here. And then I'm going to uh, use Aborigine Amber, which is this mica here. I think I might have to darken my uh, my brown just because I want it a little bit darker. But we'll see if, if I have to do that. I'm going to add a dash of black into it. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and um, pour this off in a second. And I like lime and coconut. It, it does smell really, really good. So... I'm, I'm very, very excited to make this soap. And it's a good summer soap, too. I mean, all year round, because I guess when it starts snowing, <laughs> you want a little piece of tropical vacation in your bathroom, then this soap most definitely will be that. Because the palm trees, I'm telling you, yes, I'm bragging, because they're really cute. <laughs> so, I think on this soap, I'm going to do just a drop swirl, because the palm trees really um, stand out in this soap, so I don't want it to take away from the palm trees, the design and soap. But of course, you know, I'm going to try to make some awesome sauce um, swirls. So, uh, we'll just see what happens. Okay, I'm just trying to sit my stick blender down with everything falling apart. Alright, I need more space. <laughs> I cut some soaps and things and I didn't move anything, so I'm working with limited space here. Okie dokie. So, I'm going to pour off even amounts of my green and my brown. Which, I think that's enough. No, i probably use a little bit more. But my base is going to be white or cream. Whatever way it decides it wants to go. And that's the color I will go with. Yeah, I think that's good. I'll just add a little bit more. Yeah, that's good. So... And I'm going to use some titanium dioxide to lighten this one here. But first, I'm going to give um, my brown and green a stir just to see if they are the right colors. So, yeah, I know that green is going to be great. And then I also uh, colored my palm trees. My palm trees are melt and pour, so I colored them with the same colors I'm using here. And if, for those of you who do uh, melt and pour, you most definitely want to get some of these micas because I'm going to show you. I'm not going to show you right now until like towards the end of the video. But uh, Rustic Essentials micas, oh my goodness, and Melt and Pour, they just glimmer. Oh, they're so sparkly. I've not, I've not seen glitters like that in Melt and Pour. So I'm like really, really excited about using those. Okay, let's see. Get a spatula for this brown. You know what? No, this is perfect. I thought it was going to be too light, but nope, this is good. So I'm very, very happy with that. Yeah, that's beautiful, actually. Haha. -ha. Very, very happy. Yep, that looks good. That kind of looks like cocoa. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to show you my dry form, as I always do, because you guys should see. And the reason why I do that for those of you who are first time watching my video. Give me a second to turn the fan. It's getting kind of warm in here. <laughs> okay, so the reason why I do that is because I am a tester for Rustic Essentials and I do believe in their products. And the reason why I do the dry against the wet is because I want you to see that their micas do not change uh, no matter what color your oils are. Because you can see that my oils are more on the creamier side or yellowish. So they do stay true. So here's a dry form of the green. 
and here's it in my soap. I mean, you can even see the golden, like the golden hues of it and even the little flakes. So that's awesome. I'm telling you, that is a very, very good mica. And also, let me see, here's my brown, my Aborigine Amber. That is just so cool because a lot of times you don't get that if you have shimmer in your micas and you put it in your soap oils. You don't get that shimmer, but that shimmer is still there, just like the dry form. So if you most if you if you are looking for micas, they are the place to go. I'll leave all their information in the section below as I always do. Okay, so um let me clean off my hands and then I'll get my T D in here. <clears throat> I think I'm going to use um my oil dispersed if it's like on the creamy color that's fine because that's normally what color i get with oil dispersed is a creamier white instead of a pure white but i notice if you use too much water soluble for me i get the shrunken heads and that's where your soap actually shrinks away you know shrinks back and loses weight so to speak <laughs> and then the ones that you don't use um water soluble in they seem to stay standing out and I don't really like that look but with uh, water soluble you do get um, you do get a true true white but I'm I'm cool with either color so let's see <laughs> That's good. Yeah, that is a good cream. I'm cool with that, man. So cool with that. And I'll just stick blend these once I put the fragrance oil in. That smells so good. <laughs> oh, it it smells so good. It's like it's very fresh. It's very tropical. It's very limey. It's very coconutty. <laughs> It's just a very, very good fragrance. So I'm so happy with this fragrance. Okay. And I didn't scent my um, my palm trees just because really there was no need. Um, you're going to be able to smell it through the soap. The actual bar of soap. So I didn't do that. And you'll see. I know I keep telling you about them without showing you. But I cannot show you guys yet. Patience, please. Um... <laughs> I made some of my palm trees taller than others and it, it really doesn't matter because I was going to make them all full size palm trees but then I said well you know what they're going to be down in soap nobody's going to see it so who cares. So that's the reason for when you do see them some are going to be short some are going to be tall. Okay so let me get this mixed in. Oh that smells good. So good. Just gonna stir most of this. I want this to stay pretty fluid for my drop swirl but I didn't really bring this to trace um, when I mixed my lye in I just brought it to emulsification just because I want it to stay as thin as possible but I do want to be sure that my fragrance oil is fully fully incorporated Okay, I think that'll do it. And I hope, I know by the time this video is uploaded, it will be after the 4th, but tomorrow is the 4th of July. I hope you guys do enjoy your 4th and do it safely and have nice a nice time with your friends and family and enjoy your fireworks and that's why I say be safe nobody wants any blown off limbs or anything like that <laughs> but uh, do enjoy yourself I thought I'm not an outdoorsy person I know that's crazy but <laughs> uh, my mom she loves being at parks and things like that and I don't <laughs> so she wanted to go to the park and I'm just like yeah yeah so <laughs> we'll see uh, if she drags me out then yes I will go but other than that, I just may stay at home and make soap because I am happy, very, very happy to do that and nothing else. All right. And this fragrance is behaving beautifully, absolutely beautifully. Um, as you can see, it didn't discolor my cream 
um, there's no acceleration, there's no racing, so beauteous, absolutely. Oh, this smells good. And it smells totally different, different from in the bottle because the first time, well, the first few times I smelled it, I'm just like, hmm. You know, I, I couldn't really decipher the notes, but now I'm getting so much lime and it smells really, really good. Okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> as soon as I took the stick blender out, all you can smell is lime. That smells so good. Okay. I just popped some brown in my wipe. And I believe this fragrance, too, is another slow mover just because, like, I'm kind of stick blending like crazy, I think, and it's still just as fluid. So, yeah. this is one of those slow moving uh, fragrance oils which I live, let me tell you. Because it just gives you time to play. And if you decide to change your mind and come up with something else, you still have time to play. So, I love the slow movers most definitely. Yuki, get this cleaned off and we will start pouring it into the mold. And for those of you who are just joining, welcome to my channel. I am so happy to have you here. I am Kenny the Messy Soaper and this is Royal Appleberry. And... I talk <laughs> not always about soap and we have fun and it's positivity and just great vibes and I'm so 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 happy that you decided to stop by and check me out and let me just clean off my stick blender I hope you do decide to return over and over again because I would love to see you here and please do leave me a comment because I love chatting with my subscribers my uh, regular subscribers know that <laughs> i love 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 talking to you all and seeing what you have to say about my soaps or not soap related at all i like that too all right let me stir that brown into there <laughs> yeah this is beautiful absolutely beautiful everything is just behaving and this brown is amazeballs it really is because <laughs> i didn't think it was going to be dark enough i thought it was going to be more like a golden brown but Look at that. You can really see all the little gold shimmers in there. That is beautiful. I am so super stoked about using this. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Ew. Okay, I'm getting a little crazy with the stirring there, aren't I? All right, so let me grab my mold. And we will get started. As soon as I clean off this table, yes. Okie dokie. So now we're going to pour in our white first. Okay, not all guys, of it. I am back. As you know, my camera decides when I am done and not the other way around. <laughs> um, actually, I had a cutting video on here that I forgot to take off. So that's just the greatest thing about this fragrance oil and slow moving fragrance oils because um, when I was uploading onto my computer while transferring onto my computer, it took about 60,000 years. <laughs> I'm just like, come on. And I was really worried that my batter was going to thicken up too much. But as you can see, it's still just as fluid as before I left you guys. So, kudos. So, go ahead and pour that in there. I'm not, I think that's good. Uh, I don't know what the top's going to look like. And I thought for a second I wanted to actually, yeah, I'm going to take some of this out and put it back where I got it from. <laughs> Because I do want to make a mostly white top with some colored swirls. And then I need to still pour some in to break up the green and the brown. So yeah, let's do that. Fine time to figure that out, isn't it? Okay, I think that's good. I think maybe a little bit more. Just a little bit more. <laughs> okay, that's good. <laughs> Yeah, that's more than enough. I just want to be sure that I have enough white, you know, left to do my swirls and all the other fun stuff. So, uh, let me bang this down and I'll be back. Oh, 
all right I should probably get some of that soap off the sides but it really doesn't even matter nope so I'm not going to um so I do have some funky going on in here yeah let's get that out of there because we don't need that whatever oh, it looks like a piece of my hair <laughs> that ain't good no it wasn't <laughs> I'm like how did my hair get in there I just wiped it it's not hair because that would be gross. Okay, and speaking of hair, <laughs> I went to a restaurant, uh, I'm not going to say the name, but because it's just, you know, an isolated incident, <laughs> but I was like that super hungry and feeling like I was on the brink of expiration, <laughs> and I couldn't wait to get this burger. Got the burger, and as soon as I opened it to take a look at it, just because I don't like my, my burgers like medium rare or anything like that, I like them well done, I found a beautiful, long, shimmering blonde hair in my burger. <laughs> so, yeah, I <laughs> didn't want that, but they were really, really nice, you know. Even gave me a voucher for $5 for the next time I come, which I will not be going back. Just because it had nothing to do with the hair, that just, I mean, happens, but... Um, I won't be going back because I really wasn't that all pleased with their food. So, yeah, and it was kind of expensive too. So, yeah, I won't be going back there. But, yeah, hair and anything is kind of gross other than on your head. All right, so let's get this brown in here. Let's see, put the spatula and I'm going to turn you guys sideways. Move that out the way. I guess I'm working with limited space here. I don't know. Yeah, that's good. I think... Good Lord, I'm getting everything except for what's supposed to be in these soaps in this soap. Now I got like a piece of dried soap. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to pour this from up high. Come on, don't you, you better get in there. That looks like chocolate, it really does. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> I poured it on my light. <laughs> I think I should get that off of there, guys. I'll be right back. <laughs> okay, guys. Yeah, you know, I always have this fear that I'm going to do that. <laughs> and I most certainly did it this time. And I don't think that's very good. So, <laughs> so I had to most certainly hurry up and get that off of there. I don't want to blow my light because these little boogers are kind of expensive. All right. So now that I've done that and made a mess and cleaned it up, let's get our next color in, which is the green. A little stir. Pour this from up high but far far away from my light so let's move that here okay oh that's like clumpy you really want the clump effect i just stirred it what the hell's going on here man <laughs> uh, oh well i'll just break it up with some light and light goes on yeah that was weird it was very weird so this is going to be a very interesting drop swirl. All right. I mean, for the time that it took me to transfer that video, I did expect it to thicken up a little bit, but it's still very workable. Really, really workable. So very pleased. Very, very pleased. All right. And my, my, my cream color is really good. It's always good. So I'm going to try to get most of this cream in that green area just because that was kind of clumpy. I don't want really thick green lines in here. All right. That's good. And then we'll do some more brown and then some more green and then we'll be done. Until we get to the top. Jeez, I really need some more room here. Okay, just stick that over there. I'm going to turn it around this time because it seems to pour thicker when I'm first pouring it. I'm just going to in the mold and not on the table. Yeah, that's weird because it's like loose, but it's just pouring out clumpy. Which is okay. Whatever. And I'll save that a little bit for...
I'm trying to use up most of that green because I don't want a whole lot of green left. See, as you guys can see in the mold, it's very silky looking. It's not thick and clumpy, so I don't know what the halibut is going on here. <laughs> okay. Yep, okay, that's even amounts. So that's good. Oh, shoot. I'm just in the mood for making a mess. Yes, I am. I'm getting soap everywhere. Jeez. Jesus. Okay, so let me go ahead and bang this down and I'll be back. Let me see. I think I'm going to pour just a wee bit more of this cream color just to break up that last layer. And I know I'm not going to have a whole lot of um, cream left, but ooh well, because just because I don't want too much green on the top, that's not the look I was going for. Let me see if I can pull this one off with my left hand. Oh, and it's just sitting right on top. Awesome sauce. <laughs> So what I think I'm going to do is take my skewer and just kind of whip that in there. Just to kind of break it up a little bit. Not all the way down, just kind of in this area. Okie doke. And then I play off both sides. And then I'm going to put the rest of, we'll give it one tiny smack down. All right. And then I'm going to put my cream on top. And then I'm going to put my brown and my green. And then my awesome palm trees. Yes, because they're totally awesome. Ooh, I just had an idea. Kind of do like a mini in the pot between these three and put it on top. I wonder what that looked like. Huh. There's only one way to find out. I'm going to do it. No, I'm not. <laughs> Because I'm like, well, if I do that, then it's going to be very much like what's already going on in here. So, probably not. But it was a nice thought. It sure was. I got excited for a second. Yeah, I'll go ahead and jiggle that around. I'm going to save just a little bit of cream just in case I have too much brown and green. Okay. Uh, I think I'll do brown first. Now I'll do a little bit of green because I seem to have more green left than anything else. It's wrong color spatula, but at this point, does it really matter? Nope. And I think I'm going to pop this one in the fridge just because my it feels a little bit warm. And I don't want it to melt my palm trees, which I put so much work into, because that would totally suck bad. So, you know, this is going to go in the fridge. So, scooch over, fruit. <laughs> You'll have some company. with that on a little bit. Just I'll keep layering it. Yeah, I'll keep layering it. I should have poured most of the screen. I don't know, it just seems like I should have left it, you know, when I first poured them off, I should have left them where they were because now I just feel like I got too much color left. And I really didn't want this much color left for the top, but guess what guys? You already know what I'm gonna say. Oh well, and I'm going to make it work. <laughs> yeah, this is way more than I want it. I think I'm just going to go ahead and use all this brown, which I'm running out of spots to put it. Well, I, 
I still have some green and cream left, so I think I'll be okay. I should have made a little tiny cupcake out of all three colors, but too late now. Okay, so that's it for the brown. And then I would do my green. Which is not a lot. <laughs> it really isn't. I was just complaining that I had too much green. Now I don't. Problems, problems, problems. Oh, this smells delightful. It is so good. It just smells like it. It smells like a real wine. Yes, yes, it does. And I like that. I do. I have some lemon, and I've never. I don't know. I've never done a lemon soap. So I think I'm going to try that one very, very soon. I think that one's called Lemon Slice. So I will be working with that one too and see how that works out. All right, so that is it for my green. And then I will do the rest of my cream, which I'm very glad that I saved this little bit because it was getting a little gnarly with all the brown and green. Don't mind me singing because I cannot sing. My singing so bad that when I sing, my cat put his paw over my mouth. <laughs> and I thought, okay, that was just one time. And I did it again and he did the same thing. So that should let you know. <laughs> I am not a good singer, but I just like that Erica Badu song. I really do. On and on. It's a good song. It really is. This looks crazy. I know. I know, guys. I know. I'm almost finished. I'm just trying to find right spots to put this. So I don't end up with too much of one color in, a, in one spot that I don't want it. Alright, I think, I think that is it. One more scrape. Because I see enough to get a little dollop. And I like to use my dollops. Okay, so, there we go. And I'm going to give this a smack down. As soon as I make some room. Ooh, I almost dropped that. Okay, be back. Okay, that's good. Now, spoon or skewer? Hmm, that is the question. I think I'm going to do both. Yes, why not? Who said I couldn't? So. Hmm, should I leave it like that? I think. I think I'm not going to do a spoon. I thought it would be cool, you know, with the peaks and the pine uh, pine trees. No, we're not doing pine trees, so. <laughs> with the uh, palm trees. But I think that this is charming, so I'm going to do this. And then put my palm trees. Yeah, that, that looks good not too much of any color and I want it mostly cream and I have it so perfect I'll give that one slap down just to get it down to the corners sorry guys Oop, no I don't trust that that kind of messed it up a little bit <laughs> uh oh jeez peoples I'm just all over the place as usual I don't have anything I need just because I don't have a lot of space on this table at the moment so since I muck that up I guess I'll just have to go back again and then I'm gonna stop and put these darn palm trees on here okay good leave it leave it don't touch it again thank you very much Kenny okay so now yeah I can see my lines 
Now, for the reveal of the palm trees that I kept talking about, because they're also cute. Okay, so those are my palm trees. How cute are those? <laughs> Go ahead, yes, tell me they're very cute. I know they are. <laughs> so they took a lot of work, <laughs> but I got them. And then, like, it's when you make, um, I use the chocolate mold, the little plastic chocolate molds. Uh, when you use those bad boys, they're not the easiest to get out. But I did find that, like, I'm going to start in the middle, and then I'll put my ends on. Yeah, I'll stick them kind of far down. Another reason why I'm sticking them so far down is because I don't want them to break during shipping. So, and like I told you, I do have some long ones, but oh well. Um, but yeah, um, I found that if you stick them in the freezer, um, they're much easier to unmold. Actually, pop right out after that. But if you don't do that, you're asking for a world of trouble. Yes, you are. So, I'm going to set that up. I want these to be... Yeah, because I don't want to cut any of my palm trees in half. Which, if I cut those in half, I'm amazing. <laughs> I can't seem to cut soap straight, but I can cut a palm tree in half. But you know what? With me, <laughs> I probably could. <laughs> so, let's just not find out if I can or not. Let's just not. Come on up. Come to mama. Oops. Ooh, you know what? I should have did some that way and some this way. And can I? Uh. Uh. Nope. Okay, let's not do that. Oh shoot. Well, there's gonna be one eye one that's kind of hanging off to the side because when I take them out, you'll see like the soap batter on it. And that's not the look I'm going for. So it was it was a cute idea I could probably do the rest but does that really make any sense but then again once it's cut it doesn't matter anyway so I just might yeah let's do that that one's kind of ragged <laughs> okay and get on down in there yeah most definitely putting these in the fridge Okay. I know it kind of takes away the beauty of the palm trees by me sticking them down so far, but trust me, they do break when you shrink them and the shrink wrap my bars. And I don't want to do all that hard work to just have broken, you know, broken palm trees. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Um, am I going to put, no. Well, yeah, yeah, I am, whatever. I wasn't going to put any, but I think I am. Some more, just because I know I shave a little piece off, but I just feel like there's something missing if I don't. And then, I'm not going to put one on that end, because I normally get ten bars out of each loaf. So I think that's good, and I'm left with two palm trees. But yeah, that's cute. So cute, guys. Okay, so... Um, I'm not putting any glitter because I want this to be unisex and I will tilt it and let you guys see how cute are those ha <laughs> ha that is super cute I love this <laughs> so I guess that's it guys that was fun um, went by pretty fast sticking my little palm trees in I think they all look good and they're all straight and nobody's gonna get a severed limb when I cut it <laughs> that's it guys so if you did like what you saw in this video please do give me a thumbs up if you are not a subscriber already and if you are a subscriber no i meant yeah subscribe if you're not a subscriber already and give me a thumbs up yes that's what i meant to say and if you are already a subscriber please do give me a thumbs up it is greatly greatly appreciated so that is it guys until next time this is kim the messy soaper i love you all so much i can't say it enough because you guys are stinking awesome so until then i'll see you later